guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you this fall makeup look. It's really simple to get. There's no winged liner. There is a line on the upper lash line, but there's no winged liner, anything like that. I really love the way that it turned out. I think this is kind of like a classic fall look. I'm just obsessed with it, so I'm going to talk you guys through this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to enter my giveaway if you have no idea what I'm talking about. You should check the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe so you are notified every time I upload a video, hopefully if YouTube doesn't mess that up. So yeah, anyways, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then let's just go ahead and get started. So we're starting this video with one eye done. This is what we're going to get. Um, <laughs> I figured it would save some time, and honestly, I tried three different looks before I got to this one, and I was like, I like this one the best. So, I'm going to share it with you, and I'm going to talk with you through this tutorial. So, today we're taking one of my favorite fall palettes. I don't have a discount code for you, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people do on YouTube, so you can probably just Google it. This is a Morphe 350 palette. Pretty sure they still sell it. If not, you can always find colors like this. Pretty much anybody has it. I mean, there's so many eyeshadow palettes out nowadays, you're bound to find one. First, I'm taking the vanilla shade. I'm just going to set my lid where I just put that primer so everything else just glides on perfect and even. So now I'm going to take that shade right there and we're going to blend this into the crease and kind of just all over the lid. You really want to blend this out nicely. This is our transition shade so you could take it up towards the brow more. I'm going to take the MAC 217 and we're going to mix these two shades together right here. These are like some of my favorite shades. And we're going to put these in the crease and we're not going above that transition shade. So I'm just going to take that brush and we're just going to blend it in there. This is great because these colors are really nice. They're a little bit deeper, but they're not too deep. You know what I'm saying? Like you could still work with it. And I'm going to take it in the inner corner, drag it into the crease in the outer corner. I'm just doing small circular motions to make sure I blend everything out nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to take a shorter brush. This is the MAC 239. I like this one um, for so many different reasons. I'm going to dip it into this color right here. And I'm focusing this on the outer part. Then I'm going to take the tip of the brush and drag it in the crease just so we don't get too high with that dark product. And then I'm also going to put it in the inner corner. You can kind of get it in the center of the lid, but try to leave a little bit of skin there just for the center color we put on. I like to use this color because I can build it up. It's not like a really intense black, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Going back in with my last MAC brush, I'm going to use just this shade right here. I'm going to blend that out. So again, just kind of like small circular motions. I would even use it like this, honestly. Like I would leave the eye look like this, put a little bit of color here. I just, I love the way this looks. Okay, and now we're gonna take a flat brush. This is the MAC 242. So I'm gonna take a glitter adhesive and I'm gonna put it right where there's that little bit of skin showing. Take it up to the crease as well. This is just to help that glitter stay on the lid and not fall out absolutely everywhere. And then I'm going to take this shade right here. And you kind of want to work quickly while doing this so that the glitter glue doesn't like just dry on you. It's really pretty. You see that? It's absolutely stunning. I'm just going to press this to the center of the lid. You can see this inner corner got a little bit of shimmer in there, but I'm going to try to keep it mainly in the ball of the eye. Then I'm going to take this little MAC brush again, since it is more precise and the, bristle, and the bristles aren't just like everywhere. I'm going to blend the edges. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to blend it just because that glitter glue is there and it kind of tugs at the eye and it really locks that glitter in. So just take your time. So at this point, I'll just kind of go in with whatever. I'll add a little bit of glitter, I won't. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. And this is totally up to you, um, what you want to do with the look and how intense you want the glitter to be. Okay, and then your eyeshadow is done. Isn't that crazy? It's so simple. For liner, we're just going to take a matte black 
eyeliner and we're just gonna do one line on our upper lash line so I'm gonna take the Luxie lash in West Side very very pretty fluffy lashes you can use this with a lot of different looks and I'm just gonna apply this and I'll be back to finish up my face with you guys so the first thing I'm gonna do for my face is I'm gonna take the Smashbox primer water look at this you guys I love this stuff I love it so I'm just gonna spray it all over my face Mm. The mist on this is literally so good. After that, I'm going to apply my pore minimizing primer. And this is great for my T-zone. I have large pores, and right now I have some texture right here because of this breakout. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in my T-zone. So right where I get oily and have the largest pores, you can see right there, it just kind of mattifies your skin. I really like it. This is like a holy grail product for me. I always, always, always have it. And then if you have more dry skin or you just don't really have large pores, then I would go with this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is like an award-winning primer. People love it. It is oil-free, and like I said, if you don't have like any problems with your skin, I would use this if you just want your foundation to go on really nice and smooth and just stay all day long. But since I do have like problematic skin, I stick with the pore minimizer because it really helps my pores like not look so big. So now I'm going to use my Studio Skin Smashbox 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And this is the shade 2.4. This is what I've been wearing recently. I think I need a little bit of a lighter shade to mix in with this. Just a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to mix 2.25 and 2.4. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I was talking to you guys about this foundation. And this is a foundation that I wore in New York. And I wore it Saturday because that's the only day I wore makeup. And I put this foundation on at, what was it, at 12.30 p.m. And then literally, you guys, because the reason why I did that is I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do a full face of makeup because I know I won't want to do it later. So I went ahead and put it on and I used my concealer and everything like that, the Studio Skin one. And you guys, <laughs> I did not touch up my face. I went to like a benefit party. Me and Davis went to the club upstairs after the benefit party. We were dancing, sweating. This foundation lasted till 3.30 a.m. I know. You probably don't believe me, but I swear to you. This foundation is definitely more than 15 hour wear. I mean, at least for me, because that whole day it was hot, I was sweating, I was shopping, and I did not touch up my makeup. I mean, it's amazing. But I figured I would tell you guys about that because I think it's really important. <laughs> I think I'm really important. Once I had that experience, I was like, I have to include this in a video and tell my story because it's freaking awesome. And they formulated this foundation to work in any form of light. So the way that it looks in this light is the same as it's going to look outside. And it doesn't oxidize or anything like that. Now I'm going to take the Studio Skin Concealer. This is light neutral. Um, I really like it. This is a great like everyday or going out concealer. Just is so lightweight on the skin. And this also has great coverage as well. The foundation has medium to full coverage. Like the first time you apply it, it's gonna be more medium, but you can build it up to full and it's not gonna look cakey on your skin. I'm just gonna take my I feel like this is like the body beauty blender. Like, I don't know, this seems a lot more ginormous to me, but it's probably just me being crazy. And they say this concealer is a 24 hour wear. And since I wore it for that whole freaking day, I agree with that claim. I mean, uh, it wasn't 24 hours, but it's a damn long time. <laughs> to set my concealer, you guys already know if you've been watching me in my last few videos. I'm going to use this Flower Beauty Loose Powder. It's in number L01. And while traveling, the sifter ended up working and now it's everywhere. I was taking the sifter out to get to the product, but I guess traveling and Delta throwing my shit around, got it through the sifter. I absolutely love this powder, you guys. If you have not tried it out, what are you doing? It's really, really good. Um, I have not used like my Laura Mercier translucent powder or any high-end powder since I found this. I like it better than the La Prairie powder. You guys know that I tried that out for one of my videos. This is just as good, if not better than that powder. And it's not $100, which is great. But the powder foundation from La Prairie, now that's my jam. Okay, so now that we have our brows on, I'm going to dust away my baking. And I'm also gonna kinda drag a little bit of it on the outer parts of my face, just to make sure we set everything. 
So now it's time for bronzer. I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer at the moment, which is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin in number 30, Sunkiss. This is a great bronzer. It's like the most natural bronze look ever. It's just so pretty. I cannot get enough of it. And I'm gonna put this all over my face. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. I need to start self tanning soon because we're going into the warmer, or not the warmer months. I wish we were. We're going into the cooler months. I really need to self tan. If you guys don't know, I love the Loving Tan Self Tanner. I like to use the ultra dark one. It's just so good. It lasts for forever and it is so dark. Like whenever I put that self tanner on, I better have a dark foundation that's like five times darker than my skin because it is dark. But that's why I love it. You know, like if I'm going to self tan, I don't want to be like, I don't want to have a glow. I want to be tan and that does that to me. So that's one of my favorites. I always have it linked down below and I have like a code for a free glove or something. So if you're interested, you could check that out, but I'm going to have to do that real soon. Okay. And then to contour, I'm actually going to take this elf Fiji matte duo and it has like a little contour and a blush. So I'm going to use this little, um, elf, <laughs> this little real techniques brush and contour with it. It's not too intense, but that's what I like about it. You just get that nice shadow. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take my stippling brush. By the way, this is from MUA. It's a drugstore makeup brand that you can find in CVS. That's what I like to use. And then I'm also gonna take that same blush in this palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. And we're just gonna apply it to the cheeks. It's a really pretty color. Adds like a little nice wash of rosiness. So pretty. Now we're gonna take the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights palette. This is her highlighter palette. And I'm gonna take this gold shade right here and apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> so pretty. I love the formula of this too. It's like super smooth. Okay, now we're gonna finish off the eyes. So I'm going back into the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush. If you can't pick things up off the ground with your toes, you're doing life wrong. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to highlight underneath my brow. I'm going to line the waterline with an eyeliner. Then I'm going to take this shade right here that we use on the really inner corner and the outer corner. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to smudge this up against that lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and this shade right here and I'm just going to blend out the edges of that. Okay, and then onto the fun part, which is the dark lips. I'm gonna take this Essence Lip Liner in a Soft Berry, or maybe not. I'm gonna take this Palladio Lip Liner in Cabernet. And then for the lipstick, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Misconduct. This color is fall, 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 fall. So you can leave it like this, but I actually wanna go a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna use the True Grit Liquid Lipstick from Smashbox, which is a really dark brown. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.